If you love chocolate and you love coffee, you do not want to go anywhere. Let's get cooking. once again. Today we're going to be making a chocolate coffee cupcake with a coffee buttercream frosting. Let me just repeat that. A coffee buttercream frosting. Sometimes I even impress myself. This is very similar to our killer chocolate cake we made previously with a couple uh, little tweaks. Uh, what I did is I substituted uh, in place of the boiling water, we added a cup of boiling espresso coffee. And then for the buttercream frosting, I add a little bit of instant coffee just to give that little oomph. You know what I'm saying. All right, so let's get started. What we're going to need is two cups of sugar, one and three quarters cups flour, three quarter cup powdered cocoa, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, two eggs, one cup of milk, a half a cup of vegetable oil, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one cup of strong coffee, two tablespoons instant coffee, one stick of butter softened, three cups powdered sugar, and one and a half tablespoons of heavy cream. Combine the sugar, flour, cocoa, baking powder, baking soda, and salt in a large bowl and mix well. Next, add the eggs, milk, oil, and vanilla and mix for approximately two minutes. Now add the boiling coffee. So the batter will be thin, so don't freak out. Add liners to a muffin tray and divide the batter evenly, about a third of a cup batter in each. If you transfer the batter to a large measuring cup first, it will be a lot less messy because who really likes messy? Bake at 350 degrees for 20 minutes or until an inserted wooden toothpick comes out clean. So now, let's make some frosting. In a small bowl, add one tablespoon of hot water to two tablespoons of instant coffee to dissolve it and then set it aside. In a large bowl or mixer, beat the butter on medium speed for about two minutes until it becomes creamy. Add the powdered sugar, coffee mixture, and heavy cream and beat until combined. There seems to be a lot of beating going on around here. Once the cupcakes are fully cooled, they can now be frosted. So there you have it, chocolate coffee cupcakes, what's not to love? And was so darn easy too, right? Especially with that buttercream frosting on the top, Ugh, makes it oh so good. So anyway, if you learned something today, please hit the like button. And as always, subscribe to our channel because it really does help us a lot. That's all I got. We'll see you next time.